Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick from Pragley Tactical. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over how I built my lid organizer for my Pelican 1615 Air. So I'm kind of adding on to my buddy John from Kinetic Consulting. Uh, he did a video on uh, his Pelican 1615 Air. Go check that out. He goes over way more than just the lid organizer. Uh, so check that out, especially if you do a lot of traveling. In this video, I'm going to go over just how I built my lid organizer. Um, what things work on this, um, how to do that, all the parts needed. Uh, it's going to be $57, and I'll talk about some things that I'm also doing in the actual box container itself. And then I'll go over some things that I wish I'd done different. So in John's video, he talks about his lid organizer, and it's a one-piece unit. Uh, I think he got it from Camera Accessory Solutions or, or something like that. Um, looking online... That's somebody makes that because it's offered by a bunch of different companies, but you can see that it's the same stock photo in all of them. Uh, it averages about 125 bucks, give or take a, uh, five bucks on there. Uh, but the downside that John talks about is he can't remove that. So for me, obviously, I do a lot of traveling, taking classes, a lot of traveling, teaching, and personal travel as well. I'm actually headed out next week. So what I want to do is build a, lower, a, a lid organizer that I can actually take out for the fact of if I'm doing personal travel, I'm not going to need this stuff and I want to save weight, which if you're starting to look at Pelican cases for this, uh, the air cases save anywhere from about seven to nine pounds from the comparable sized other Pelican units. So you can see right there why you would want to go with the air, save weight when you're traveling. That means more stuff that you can pack. Also, the 1615 is right in line with the maximum uh, size limitations of uh, traveling as well in the dimensions of the case that is. Um, so the 1615 Air is phenomenal. So I'm just gonna stick to how I made all of my lid organizer on this part. So again, whether I'm doing personal travel or working, I might wanna cu customize kind of how I want my lid organizer. So the goal was to make it very modular. Uh, so what I did is I went on Amazon and I bought this Stenco um, two inch black adhesive hook and loop. Uh, again, all the links to all the products will be down below in the description box. So what I did was I ran it up on the back. Uh, for the lengths, I did a couple different lengths here. I started with 30. Um, that was a little bit too long. I went down to 28, not quite as long as I was, as I would perfectly want. So I would stick somewhere about 29 inches uh, on the Velcro. So I just ran two across, two across, two across. Uh, what I did do for me personally, and you might want to switch it, is I put the hook on this and I put the loop on this side to where the goal would be is when I pull this off, it's not, it's easier just to grab. That's literally the whole reason that I did that. Uh, you might want to switch it if you want to put patches on the inside uh, or, you know, if you have gear that uses Velcro for some reason or whatever. So that's what I did on all the way across. Um, again, I didn't really measure this all out perfect. Um, again, you can break that down into how you want. Then what I did is I picked up these bags on Amazon. And then uh, the great thing with these bags is you'll have three left over. So they come in packs of five. Uh, you will have five, right? Yeah, I used 12, so you have three left over. So the nice thing is, is if you have other gear, you can just take it, boom, throw it in there. So obviously I have 12 bags right here. Uh, again, these bags are clear, so it's easy to see. And then of course, I also bought labels on Amazon as well. Uh, I would recommend though, going with smaller ones. I bought these because they were cheap. I got like I don't know, 30 pages of 10 stickers for like six bucks or four bucks or something like that. Uh, these are the four by twos. I might do like a, a two by four or just trim these up when you do it. Again, I was more about speed of, of putting this stuff together. So basically you just run those there, put them on the back units here, and then you can stick them up there. So uh, these bags are, I think five inches wide. I can't remember. Again, there's a link in the description box below on these. So now it's very easy to do. Um, I can just push it on there and it's on. If you notice too, again, for where I work in my industry, it fits P mags, um, it fits Glock mags, it fits, um, you know, Expo markers. I've even put uh, a can in there, holds it up. 
Um, the adhesive wise on this uh, has worked really, really well. This one box will get you everything you need seen here. Uh, you'll have a little bit left over on the loop. Um, so you'll have about, I don't know, three feet or so left over. In regards to the hook though, you will have not much left over. So uh, this has worked out really well uh, for me so far. Uh, talk about things I would do differently. What I would probably do differently is either get a whole area of, again, hook or loop, whatever you want on the back, uh, to just put that back there. The reason that I went with uh, the strips first is we got these little, uh, I'm assuming these are probably from the mold nub outs. Uh, I didn't want to remove them though, uh, due to, again, these guys have a lifetime warranty on the Pelican cases, so I wanted to keep that warranty and not mess anything up. So that's why I initially did the strips. Now, again, if you took your time on this, measure stuff out, cut around it, hey, that'll work great. Um, but what I would probably do differently is do all of it in regards to that way, if I ever buy different size pouches, I want to buy like a Magpul DACA pouch, for example, whatever it might be, I can make this a little bit more modular and not be necessarily wor worried of having uh, the strips line up on all of my bags here. Um, so that's something that I would probably do different if I was gonna redo this, which I might do in the future, who knows. But basically you hook and loop, um, and then all of the labels and the bags cost me 57 bucks. So it's really nice to where I can rearrange this. Uh, it stays on, again, you know, my can's, you know, 16, 14 ounces, whatever it is. Um, so it holds it up, the adhesive has been super solid on here. Um, it's been really nice. Again, the big thing with this is more than likely, it's not that I necessarily need to know what is here, even though that helps me get organized because I tend to just dump everything in this big box. But if I, if somebody needs something in a class, like, Hey, go in my box here, look, you know, you'll be able to find it. Um, so that's kind of the big thing with, with labeling, but the nice thing too, with having the extra bags, different classes, you know, different gear, you can swap, swap this out and make it modular. Um, so that's, that's what I really dig. Uh, so a couple things to, to be aware of, especially when you load this up, uh, it's going to be very top heavy. So like right now I have my helmet, my plate carry in here to keep it stabilized. If you take all your gear out, this will tip backwards. Um, so something to be cognizant of that you'll always need to keep some weight in here when you got this thing loaded up. Um, also to stretch out the bags, uh, I used a PMAG. You can see there's a couple here that I haven't. I took it just a PMAG, put it in there, and you can see that I've been sitting there for a week or so. Uh, it's been it's been filled out. Uh, the bags aren't necessarily the best. Um, I think the best way to go about this would be to get some custom made like nylon ones with a front clear, you know, like a YKK zipper on the top. That would be the utmost quality. But again, that also would add price. Um, so these bags have worked out pretty well so far. Um, and again, the nice thing is too, if you got cleaning stuff in here, uh, you, you know, there's no mesh on here. So if something were the top were to pop off, something were to leak out, it's going to be mostly contained within the bag, uh, which is another added bonus of not having any mesh products on here. Um, so again, this is kind of my setup. Um, some other things that I will add that I haven't got a chance to do, but I will be doing shortly is I bought some, again, I'll put these on in the description box below, some nylon straps. So as you can tell, still literally wrapped up. So with these here, again, you'll be able to set it up to where you can, you know, strap gear down. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing with these is setting up for a rifle laying down. I'm going to uh, Gorilla Glue it uh, down these straps. So that way if I take an upper, an SBR, AR pistol, whatever it is, and set it down, it'll be held in spot. Then what I'm also going to do is basically uh, with, so this is one inch thick weather stripping with an adhesive back. I'm basically going to make a bed for my optics to where, you know, again, with an upper or a rifle, it's pretty much always gonna lay in the same spot. So I can build just a larger area uh, of what the bed will be for, you know, again, red dots or uh, any sort of, you know, scope or whatever that I might be running. So I'll, we'll, I'll be setting this up eventually as well. I have a personal trip, so it's not gonna be needed for this trip, um, but that's kind of what I have in the works too. Uh, you can buy these models with having a bunch of foam that you can customize or not. Again, I went without the knot. Not only does that save weight, uh, 
but again, it gives more room inside uh, the Pelican case here to dump gear. As you can see, as you go through and do a lot of traveling, you will have an absolute ton of gear. Uh, so this setup has worked really well. The nice thing is for my personal trip coming up here, I'm gonna be able to pull all of these off, set them aside, save that weight for personal travel. When I get back, everything is still organized in its, in its little individual case here, and I can just stick it back on onto the Velcro and I'm good to go. Uh, but again, check out um, John's video. Again, goes a lot more depth on uh, travel and his setup on his 1615. And then again, if you're interested in just having one unit for the lid organizer, if that works for you, hey, that's great. Uh, he has I, he talks about it in his video, so you can check that out. Uh, but again, otherwise, all the products I talked about are down in the description below. Uh, if you want to build your own case organizer for really any case, not just the uh, Pelican Air 1615. So uh, that's about it for my setup. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care.